The transfiguration of Jesus is described in all three synoptic gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Uh, many consider it one of the miracles of Jesus, but different from the others, because it's not performed by Jesus, but it happens to him. Now, all three gospel accounts tell us that Jesus and three of his disciples, Peter, James, and John, go up on a mountain where the transfiguration occurs. Jesus shines with bright rays of light, or as Matthew chapter 17, verse two describes it, and his face shone like the sun and his clothes became dazzling white, a phrase laundry detergent companies would later borrow. Now, it is this uh, transfiguration, this miracle, uh, that we remember on Transfiguration Sunday. So, when is Transfiguration Sunday? And why do we recognize this event in particular in the life of our church? Now, oh, sounds like you are in the right place to find out because we are talking about Transfiguration Sunday on this episode of Chuck Knows Church. In the Gospel according to Luke 9, verse 29, the appearance of his face changed. Then in Mark 9, verse 2, quote, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no one on earth could bleach them, unquote. And then there appeared to the disciples the Old Testament prophets Elijah and Moses talking with Jesus. Then, right just as they were leaving, Peter suggests building three dwellings for Jesus, Moses, and Elijah. Now, some theologians interpret this to mean Peter wants to keep the three of them together longer. But while Peter is saying this, a cloud overshadows them. And uh, from the cloud, a voice says, again, according to Matthew's gospel, this is my son, the beloved. With him, I am well pleased. Listen to him. It is Jesus glorified. No. Uh, going back down the mountain, Jesus orders Peter and James and John not to tell anyone what they've seen, uh, according to both Mark and Matthew, until after the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. This confuses his disciples as they question what Jesus means. Now, of course, Jesus foreshadows the cross and his resurrection. Now, all three synoptic gospels uh, relate very much the same story of the transfiguration. Uh, it's widely considered a momentous event because it is a time in which human nature and God meet, the temporal and the eternal, uh, with Jesus seen as the connection, like a bridge between heaven and earth. The transfiguration is also a bridge between Jesus' public ministry and his passion. From the time of the transfiguration, Jesus sets his sights on Jerusalem and the cross. We celebrate Transfiguration Sunday uh, before the Passion so that we may give ourselves anew to the gospel at Easter, uh, sharing the dying and the rising of Christ. Now in the United Methodist Church, and for many Protestants, Transfiguration Sunday is the Sunday before Ash Wednesday, before Lent. If you would like to learn more about Transfiguration Sunday, be sure to ask your pastor. Tell them Chuck sent you. <laughs>